All right. Um, yesterday, one of my students actually asked me like, um, how to use this formula to solve about these integration questions. So at the moment, I kind of stuck for a while because I didn't really uh, memorize about this formula. Because last time when I do this kind of question, I actually use the substitution method. So I'm going to show my original method first and then I will explain how this formula uh, come from and then I will uh, teach you how to use this formula as well in this video. Right, because last time when I do, I will use about substitution. Okay, substitution, this is what we will normally do. So this is highest power, isn't it? I will just let the cos x equals to u. So I will just let uh, u equals to cos x. All right, so you should be able to see here, you have u power of three. All right, but if u power of three, I want to integrate this one, I must in terms of du. I cannot be dx, isn't it? So over here, I will do a simple du dx here. Okay, we just differentiate u, we actually get about negative sign x in it. So therefore, I know my du actually is uh, negative sign x multiplied with dx. All right, so therefore, if I have the negative sign x multiplied dx here, I can actually change them into the d, uh, du here. So when I check back this question, I have sign x, but I don't have negative sign x. So what I will do is, I will multiply negative inside and outside, which is like negative one times negative one, you get positive one. So I didn't change the value of this integration. This is how I will add negative for it. So right now, you see carefully, I have the negative sign x and dx. If I have negative sign x and dx, I can change them into the du, okay? So right now it's negative integrate. The whole thing here become du already. So I have, this is u power of three, isn't it? So I have u power of three du. Then it's very easy, isn't it? It's because you know how to integrate u power of 3 when this is du. So you just get negative u power of 4 over 4 du. And then and then you oh you integrate already, there's no more du, sorry. And then plus c. Alright, then you know what's your u, isn't it? Your u is cos. So if you got your answer, negative cos 4x over 4 plus c. Okay, negative cos power of 4x over 4 plus c. This is how I will. Uh, do using the substitution methods. All right, so then I kind of like go to find out how this formula come from. So I think this formula come from the anti-directive. So means uh, he come from the dy dx, something like that. So I just trying to imagine if last time uh, when I differentiate, if I differentiate something like 2x plus 5 power of 10, I will actually get something like 10 move to the front and then 2x plus 5 I copy and then power at minus 1 isn't it? and then I differentiate inside and then I write a 2 outside. So this 2 basically is when I differentiate the uh, inside. Isn't it? So therefore, if today I, I differentiate something like um, uh, fx um, and then power, uh, power m plus 1 maybe Okay, so you might ask why I want to get m plus 1, because later I want to get power of n. This is the reason why. Alright, then I will apply similar rule here. So I ask myself, then what normally I will do is uh, the m plus 1, I will move to the front, and then I have minus 1 in the Then I have m plus 1, and then this one will be fx. m plus 1 minus 1, you get n in the net. And then we need to differentiate inside, which is we will differentiate fx. Internet. Then what I will do here is I will add the integration sign for both sides. Then I know if I integrate fx power of n multiply with f prime x, I actually, this one simplify, right? I actually get fx power of m plus 1. The m plus 1 here move to the other side, divide m plus 1 plus c. All right, then this is exactly the same formula I got here, isn't it? So yeah, okay, after you understand this formula, let's apply this uh, formula in these questions again. So the question is like sine x cos qx. Okay, by the way, some students might not know cos qx basically equals to cos x cube. Huh? They are the same thing. This is just how the trigonometry will write their power. Okay, so same idea. So if I want to use uh, this formula, right? So what I want to understand is, okay, this one, I, I can kind of see this is like cos x power of three. And then I must have something like uh, differentiate of cos x. So you see, normally I will rewrite something like this. Um, So this one is cos x power of three. 
All right, if this one is the fx, then you have to ask yourself, what is your f prime x, which is differential at cos x. So we know that um, if fx equals to the cos x, differentiate of cos x we will get negative sine x, isn't it? So like I say, I must have the negative sine x. So in this case, I don't have negative sine x, I will add negative like this. So right now I have the negative sine x here. Okay, so then definitely we have to have one minus at the front here. Okay, so right now it's exactly in this form already. So if I integrate cos cube x, I mean cos x power of three, and then multiply with the differentiation of the cos x, I can straight away get the answer like this. So I just copy the fx. My fx is cos x. And then n plus one, my n right now is three. Three plus one will be four, divided by n plus one, four plus c. All right, this one is how you get the answer, like four x over four plus c. Okay, so normally if you want to use the formula, you just want to make sure you have every single thing there, the one, and then you can straight away apply uh, what, whatever happened at the other side. All right, so I'm not sure which method you prefer, but I've been using the substitution method for many, many years. So I kind of uh, like the substitution method. But if you just think that you prefer to memorize the formula and prefer to use this formula, you are always welcome to use it. All right, anyways, I hope this short video actually helped you understand about how to do this kind of question. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.